guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. Today I'm going to review for you Your Journey into Eternity, Life for the Next Thousand Years by Perry Stone. Now they sent this to me to review. I absolutely love this book. You're going to want to get your Bible out as you study and take it slow with a pen, paper, notes. I have here with me too which is mine, which wasn't for review, but I just have it. It's the Paris Stone Study Bible. This is the New Testament part. I just wanted to kind of show you that. Just, you know, lots of notes I got. Um, but anyway, this is awesome. It goes into, like, all the things for the Christian that are going to happen. Um, let me see if I can read the back for you. What happens to the soul and spirit the moment... A believer dies, where are the spirits of believers and martyrs while well, they await the resurrection? What happens to deceased infants, aborted and miscarried babies? Will you remember events on earth after you die? Will your memory ever be erased? Can the deceased appear to you in a dream or vision? What occurs in heaven during the seven-year tribulation? What will we experience at the marriage supper of the Lamb celebration? What happens to believers when Christ returns to earth to reign for a thousand years? What are the mysteries of the New Jerusalem? Now, this book covers in detail a lot of the questions that Christians have that they kind of like shove after the rapture. They don't really understand how it all plays out. This explains that journey into eternity, life for the next thousand years. You can see I'm marking this book up. <laughs> And there's just so much in here. This is just rich with information. It's this book could be like this thick if um Perry Stone didn't have like everything just like condensed kind of. It's just like he explains it in detail, but it's like it's a it can be a fast read. I suggest reading it and then rereading it with your pen and pencil. It'd be a great resource for your church too if you have a bible study or something like that but if you love the lord and you want to know what your future holds you are going to love this book so i've been listening to a lot of Perry Stone sermons and things that he's been talking about and I, this book is just priceless so it like i said it gets into all those questions that uh you don't know who to ask because a lot of Christians don't do the study. They don't know what it means. They, It kind of gets off fuzzy. He explains this so you understand. Then you know that you know that you know. <laughs> so I want to point this book out to you. Um, you can pick it up at, from Perry Stone. It might be on Manifest. Uh, let's see if he's got his site there. Perrystone.org. So there you go. Now, today's scripture is going to be a little different because I like to kind of give you the resources. I'm not going to actually look it up because you're going to know. Um, I just want to address things I hear online because I'm sure people have questions. Um, one thing I heard is, well, there will be a rapture, okay? And I understand where, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm a student of the word, so I'm always learning, but... Um, one of the scriptures as I was kind of praying about all this that really spoke to me about the rapture is Revelation 1 to 3, those chapters. It talks about, you know, re like repenting and getting it right with God so you miss like the wrath coming. All right. That's how I see those scriptures. And when I look through the Bible, God always took care of his own. Um, Jeremiah and his secretary, God took care of them. Um, some people went through stuff, yes, but it's going to be like the days of Noah, a, a brand new event that never happened before. They never saw a flood before. Well, the people in the world have never seen like a mass exodus of Christians before going up to God. Um, so I myself firmly believe in the rapture and I you know try to spend a lot of time um, studying what I hear to know for myself just like this book I'm reading this book I'm looking up the scriptures 
I'm studying because we should be like the Bereans. We should hear and listen to others, but we search the scriptures to make sure that the person is saying the right thing. And no matter how do I put this, you're always going to hear things that you're not going to totally agree with. You just spit out the sticks and if 99.9 .9 of it is good and they say one little thing like, yeah, they're still saved, they love the Lord, um, but they're kind of like maybe they haven't uh, studied that area. And so, but that's what I see with the rapture. I know that there's scriptures that talk about the rapture, but as a whole, the whole Bible, I see that God always um, takes care of his people and I see the rapture, you know, people go, oh, the rapture's not, the word's not in the Bible. Neither is the Bible <laughs> word in the Bible, you know. It's just, um, but the event is there. And uh, so study it out for yourself. Know that you know. Don't, uh, you know, always be teachable. And study the word. And you can read your whole Bible. I mean, I'm like, on this because I think people don't read their Bible and they think it's going to take to eternity. You can read your entire Bible in a month by reading two hours and 15 minutes a day. So you can, I read mine every 90 days, but um, you can read it that way. That's because I study too, but you can read it. And, you know, this year stuff is kind of baby stuff. And you need to, you know, know your Bible. Put down your phone. You can still look at your phone and all that. You know, don't be foolish. But know your Bible before you go to bed at night. Block out two hours and 15 minutes. Read it before you go to bed at night. Um, or maybe in the morning when you're having your coffee. You know, <laughs> whatever time you pack, you and the Lord work out what works for you. When I was um, working and stuff. I didn't read as much as I do now. Now I'm retired, so it's easier. So it's really, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, but you should know your Bible like the back of your hands. If you're on your phone eight hours a day, maybe you could switch it up and be in the Bible eight hours a day. Just carry your Bible around with you. I mean, what's the difference, right? You know, just be, you know, you're Christian. Say it loud, say it proud, right? <laughs> So I always say, let people know right up front where I stand. This way I don't have to, you know, you know, circle around and then they find out. I'm like, oh, wow, read these are Christians. Like right off the bat, let them, you don't have to be like badge them over the head. You can just, you know, it should come up in your conversation, you know. But anyway, so that's the scriptures that I would suggest today. Read Revelation 1 to 3. Revelation is not... You know, like people like to say, oh, it's hard to understand. God wants you to understand it. It's not that hard. If you're like Skip Isaac said, if you're not good at Bible prophecy, get good at it. It's, you know, so learn the book of Revelation. So anyway, with that, check out this book. This is going to help you a lot. Your journey into eternity, life for the next thousand years. Perry Stone. Then you'll get all those questions asked, answered. Then you'll know for the rest of your life the answers. Okay, guys. So remember, big or small. You too can be a backyard farm. God bless.